Hello everyone, this is a very popular topic, the question of will your ex return? Thank you for joining me. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. This is Irish Donna Tarot and welcome and I hope everyone's doing well. So let's see what we have for our Aries friends. Will your ex return? All right. We have, oh my God, what an opening card here. Aries, this is a soulmate for you very clearly. Evidently, it was a red hot lover situation. Your person would like to give to that lover situation for sure. Their primary desire for returning is the physicality of your relationship. I like this energy. They seem to be very grounded at this time, very matter of fact. They definitely want you. They see you as a high value person. The Two of Cups in the past, you may have lived together, you may have been married, but this person really felt a great happiness with you. Again, another soulmate card of the Minor Arcana. We have, they see you as their Empress card, Aries. You are the manifestation of everything that they want. You embody beauty, you embody everything that's creative and beautiful. In the near future, the Five of Swords, they are looking at the situation as if they drew first blood, they hurt you very badly, they didn't treat you well, and they are thinking about what you might say to them if they return. In their energy, they're trying to stay cool, calm, collected, and detached. They're trying to stay very um, intellectual about it. They're thinking about how they would approach you. Animals may have come into play. I call this my Dr. Doolittle, King of Swords. The Seven of Swords, ooh, they are driving by your house at night. They are spying on you on social media. But to me, this is very much a neighborhood card. It would be like, well, I wonder if so-and-so's home. You know, really checking up on you very, very much like a, a special operations person. What they fear or what they desire, they desire the stability that you brought into their lives. The Seven of Coins energy is they had built a lot with you and they would like to continue to grow with you. The outcome card, the Ten of Wands, the burdens they created that made you leave are very heavy. Your person does not think that you would want them back. They feel as though you've moved on, you've let go of the burdens that they created for you. Clarification card, please. Aries Queen, there you are, the Aries Queen, masculine or feminine. They see you as very, very powerful, very much in a happy place in your life right now. What else do we have for will they return? They want to, the lightweight, okay. So this is Pisces energy. Um, it really speaks to the fact that person, your person feels as a wind pigs fly, because there is a pig here with wings, that you would take them back. So right now, I'm seeing them trying to talk to you. I'm not feeling necessarily that they will have the courage to ask you to return to the relationship with them. I feel as though they would try to have a conversation with you in which they would try to see what you think and try to pick up on the signals that you represent. But right now I'm not seeing a formal, will you get back together with me? What I see is a, hey, how you doing? How you been? Kind of a conversation. And then if you take a leadership role, let them know, then they would move forward with a very strong energy here. Otherwise, they'll just flake off. So this might be part of the problem and the reason you broke up to begin with. All right. Taurus, will your ex return? Let's take a look. Ten card Celtic for Taurus. Clarifiers as needed, but minimal. All right. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check them all out. This is our very quick videos. Ten card Celtic. The energy is currently, ooh, Taurus, your person is obsessed with you. They want you back. They feel, I feel as though this person may have been very controlling with you. We see them loving you. They are overwhelmed with their emotion. They feel that they're in water. They want to nurture the relationship. But again, this person may have control issues or they could think that you do, but I don't think that's the case. The devil energy is Capricorn, not Taurus. Okay. The Ten of Swords. Your person feels that this may be a hopeless situation, Taurus. The Death card says that when it ended, it ended very, very badly. 
There is a desire for rebirth, though. We can see this person really looking at how sexy, how much they were obsessed with you, how much they're currently obsessed with you. Taurus, Libra energy. Your person wants to know if you would be interested. They definitely would want to offer a relationship that was required a commitment. The Eight of Swords, they are all up in their head. They're very worried. They feel frozen in their activity level towards you. They feel as though they can't really come up with the right answer, that they treated you badly enough that you may not want them back. But here's a reconciliation card. So I would say this is six weeks out. So I would say it would be longer than six weeks. In this situation, uh, they see you as their soulmate. This is a reconciliation card. You know, we have an archangel here protecting the relationship. This is a desire to grow old with you. This is your energy, uh, excuse me, Scorpio energy. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Your person is holding back right now out of plain old fear, Taurus. Oh, uh, well, your person is trying to look at things from a different perspective to figure out how they could approach you. It looks like there's a lot of fear. Let's see what's a clarifier. They will throw caution to the winds. I would say that you are looking at probably at least about 12 to 14 weeks before they would do that. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Of course, so let's see what we have for will your ex return for our beautiful friends here, Taurus friends. Okay, we have Taurus. There you are in your own reading. Look at that. We have the beautiful Empress card. That is an affirmative card. We have the energy that your person is trying to be very detached, calm, cool, and collected to think about how much they want you, what they can do strategically. There we have another Taurus card. For some of you, you may have been married to this person. You may have parented a child with them. It really speaks to the fact that they want a committed relationship. Also, the fact that you may have been in one. The Wheel of Fortune, they felt very fortunate and very lucky to have had you in their life. We have the energy of the Three of Cups that is a reunion card. They feel as though you are their best friend. This is a stunning lay of cards. The Judgment card. This can represent the judgment of divorce. You could be going through a breakup, but it does show that your person feels as though you've released them and that you've passed judgment on them and that they may have no alternative. This means karma for them. The Five of Wands, they feel very conflicted as to whether they could win you back. They feel as though they have competition. They feel as though maybe you actually have another lover or love interest, or they actually might know that you do. The Virgo Energy card, they want to come towards you. They want to approach you. They're trying to figure out how to do that, what value they could bring into your life. Their biggest hope or their biggest fear is that you have moved away permanently and don't want to have anything to do with them. And your outcome card is a four of wands. Definitely they are going to come back, make the approach. They're going to make a big offer to marriage cards, really feeling as though they want to fight the karma. They may have put you in a competitive situation, but the answer is yes. They are coming back. They're going to try to win you back. Gemini, will your ex return? Let's take a look. This will be a 10 card Celtic spread. Clarify as needed to see if your ex will make a return. Let's see what we have. We're going to do two more shuffles for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I suggest you watch all of them for a really full answer. All right, so let's see what we have for you, Gemini. The current situation is your person is seeking answers or seeking the wisdom. They're, they're trying to figure out the best way to approach you strategically. The Four of Swords says that your person wounded you very badly. They don't know that you would take them back. They have also wounded themselves in the process of what happened in the relationship. The Two of Swords says that you may simply not want to hear what they have to say. That's very much a concern for them. I also feel as though you tried to tell them um, how to make the relationship better, that you shared some things that had hurt you in the relationship and they didn't pay attention or they didn't want to or they didn't think they were important, but this is a lot of self-introspection, self, self um, you know. 
self-examination, a lot of introspection. Eight of coins, do they want the relationship in the recent past? The answer is absolutely yes. The death card says that they know that they have to make a dramatic change to rebirth the relationship with you, but it does look like they want to because we get this beautiful star inside the hood of the death card. They see you as a person who is very stable, very nurturing, beautiful, understated, elegant, highly desirable to them, Gemini. Nine of Wands, they have fire in their belly. They want this relationship, Gemini. The Ace of Swords, they know that you will require the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, that you are a truth speaker. Oh, in their deepest desire and their highest fears, we have their deepest desire. They want to make love to you all night long. The passion, they want to gaze into your eyes. They see you as a soulmate. They can't stand the thought of living without you. The Six of Swords, ouch. Your person looks as though they think that you, they want to rebirth it, but that you've totally ended it, that you've moved forward. They definitely still want you. They definitely would try to, in my opinion, stay friends with you or keep the communication open. I feel as though they definitely would not want to let go of you, but I don't see them actually doing a formal return of any sort because it looks as though they simply think that you wouldn't accept them back. I have time stamped everything below, so I hope that you can look at the time stamps and find your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and that of your partner, maybe. One more shuffle for our Cancer friends. Will your ex return? Let's see. Okay. We have five of swords. Your person feels as though they treated you really badly, that they were kind of mean-spirited with you, that they drew first blood in a manner of speaking, that you may simply think that they are not worth your attention. They feel as though they sort of dealt some pretty deadly blows emotionally to you. Cancer, honey, I'm home. They definitely want to come in very quickly. They are moving forward very, very quickly. They are trying to stay centered and grounded. They have their heart locked in a cage. They definitely feel as though logic is the only way that they could possibly win you back. They're going to have to be very fairly, fair and balanced with you. I don't think that they were in the past. They see you as the ideal mate, that you are bringing everything to the table, the beautiful empress, the queen of the queens. They don't see any option in love that is better than you. Cancer, wheel of fortune turns in your favor or in their favor. Destiny is calling. They feel very lucky that you were in their life. We see the five of coins. They feel as though they basically messed up so badly that you would never talk to them again. They feel that they're locked out of the kingdom of heaven where you reside. You are very heavenly in their viewpoint. We see the key here. We see this person with their head in their shoulders. They don't see that they could come back to you. They're caught up in a very strong feeling that it's hopeless. The Ace of Wands says that they have a strong desire to throw caution to the winds and approach you. They feel as though you are their sunshine, you are their happiness, you are their joy. They were never happier than they were with you. We have the Five of Wands. Uh, it is a card of ego-driven conflict. Your person is someone who creates a lot of drama. They're very much afraid that you're going to remind them of that. The Three of Wands, there you go. That's the honey, I'm home. Let's go on vacation or let's go on vacation and move together. The answer is yes, your person is returning. They see you as their natural partner. They see you as the ship that's arrived in the harbor. They feel very, very lucky to have had a chance to be with you and they will return. Leo, will your ex return? Let's take a look. Let's get three shuffles for Leo. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I would so appreciate it. It is a way to support the channel. And it is free. So if you like this content and would like to see more of it, please do so. Let's see what we have for you. All right. We have two of coins. Your person is juggling the idea, Leo, of whether they should return or not. They feel as though you might have someone else. 
The world card says that the cycle is over with you. They recognize that if they want a new cycle, they have to bring something to the table that is of high value to you. The Two of Swords says to you basically, Leo, that they are not sure that you would really like to hear from them or that you would like to talk to them. The Seven of Coins is telling me that they really see you as a person that they were building something with, somebody that they would like to continue to build with. The Ten of Swords, they feel as though they betrayed you substantially, that you walked away, you closed out the cycle. It looks as though they might have been juggling. It looks as though they didn't listen to the things that you said to them. We have the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. They're hoping that destiny will pull the two of you back together again. The Four of Coins, though, says that your person is very much in the, the energy of holding back, Leo. We see that they would like to make a romantic overture towards you. The Ace of Coins, they would like to make you a significant offer in love. But the Five of Wands, they feel very conflicted. I do not see this person having a lot of confidence. They want to, let's see if they're, let's get a clarifier for the Five of Wands. They think that they would have to compete for your attention. They don't think they would win that competition. Oh, they're gonna try. Look at that, honey, I'm home. The Emperor's driving the chariot, trying to keep their emotions together, trying to keep their fear at bay. It does look like they wanna come in and fight for you. So do they return yes? Do you take them back? Well, that is another question entirely that only you can answer. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Let's look and see if your ex will return. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Virgo. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you like my content. Let's see what we have for Virgo in love. Hope everyone's doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. We're doing all the signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So, Virgo. Four of Wands, oh, your person wants a stability. Many of you may have dated for a long time. Your person sees you as the one that they would like to marry if you're in a twin flame relationship. That is the 1111 card. The Nine of Coins, <laughs> they see you as their good luck token. They see you as a person. This is your energy, Virgo. So we're seeing you single, ready to mingle. Your person definitely wants to come back into your life. They see you as highly desirable and they see you as a person who is marriage worthy. They would like to have you. The death card speaks to the fact that your person knows that they really have to change something about their way of interacting with you in the relationship. There needs to be a full death and rebirth for you to have success in the future. In the recent past, they have been very depressed, underwater, very worried, feeling as though there's no hope. The crowning energy is they really want to make love all night long. Look out for the fire extinguisher. Put it by the bed. They want to travel with you. They want to go on adventures with you. They want to talk to you all day and all night. Well, that would wear a girl or a boy out, wouldn't it? <laughs> we have the Five of Swords. In the near future, they just don't see a way of approaching you in which you wouldn't kick them to the curb. They feel as though they really hurt you. They drew first blood, as Rambo said in the movie Rambo, or whatever it was. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it was Rambo. All right, the world card. They feel as though if they want to have a new beginning with you, that they have to show you what they've accomplished since the breakup. The Seven of Swords says that I think your person is um, driving by your home. It looks like they're watching you very closely. They're trying to see what you might say to them, or they're trying to see if you're in a relationship also. They feel very fiery and very confident in the, in the daytime and at the nighttime they worry. Uh, the Page of Cups. Your person feels as though they were a lightweight in love that you may simply not be interested in taking them back. They're coming in with very immature energy. The Page of Cups is somebody who loves but who's very flaky. You know, it's the little fish in a cup kind of rider weight indicator. We have when pigs fly. So here's the thing. Will they try to talk to you? Will they try to initiate contact? Yes. Do I think that they will come back and give you a formal, you know, handout, please come back to me? 
they will allude to the fact that they miss you, that they want you, that life was good with you, and then they will look to you to see whether you take the lead. And if you don't, it dies right there on the table, and I don't think that they will come at you in a very, very um, mature way. So that'll be up to you to decide where this goes. Thank you so much, and on to the next sign. Libra, will your ex return? Let's take a look and see what's cooking good looking. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Libra, please like, subscribe, share, and welcome to the channel if you are new. I'm so delighted that you're here with me. Let's take a look, Libra, and see, will your ex return? Ooh, the smoking red hot lovers card. Your person is missing you, fantasizing about you, dreaming about you. That is a soulmate card. It's Gemini. We see the Four of Wands. You might be in a twin flame relationship. You may have been married to this person. That is a marriage card. They want to marry their soulmate in terms of their emotions. Eight of Wands. They want to make love all night long. Ooh, I don't know what the temperature was when you were alone together, but it must have felt very sub-Saharan desert. Very hot, very, very, a lot of love making, a lot of communication, a lot of joy and happiness. They see you as highly desirable, Libra. They see you as extremely good looking, somebody that is in the mode. You can take care of yourself. Everybody desires you. They desire you. The Ten of Swords says that they feel as though they stabbed you in the back in a way that you may not be willing to even talk to them. They feel as though they might have betrayed you probably with their words or actions of player energy. We see that their energy right now is sort of a very easy come, easy go. I don't really like that energy the way it's manifesting here. Let's see what we have. They do feel as though you're a very deep person, that you're a person who wants something of tremendous value, that you they didn't they didn't live up to your expectations and they think that that you really would view them the same way. They don't know that you would forgive them. They feel as though they put you through a lot and you've come out of it calm, cool, collected, very loving. But again, they do not necessarily think that you would want them back. The Queen of Cups with the King of Cups is all about soulmate energy once again. Your person is very much in love with you. They're very much in their feels, as you can see. The outcome card of will they return is a death card. That would be formally a no answer. They, You might be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, it does look as though if you were married that you are now divorced. Uh, for those with whom it resonates. But I, what I would say is that your person knows that the relationship would have to go through a complete rebirthing process. They are willing to work on it. Will they try to talk to you and see what your response would be and to sort of feel you out in a very sort of uh, shy way? Yes. But will they come back and try to sweep you off your feet. Uh, no, they wouldn't do that. They feel as though they broke too many rules with you. They would not have the courage to do that. Welcome to the city, everyone. Lots of people hot rotting down the streets. Okay, so I'm seeing them returning, but not will my ex return and make a big offer and a big gesture. This person is too fearful. They broke too many rules. They, they love you dearly and they would absolutely approach you to see how you feel, but not necessarily be courageous enough to really think that they would make a big offer to you. So Scorpio, will your ex return? Let's take a look with the 10 card Celtic spread. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like the comment. Okay, we have three shuffles for Scorpio. Will your ex return? Five of Wands. They feel like they have to compete for your attention. They want to fight for you. Oh, the sun card. They feel as though you are their happiness, Scorpio. They have fire in their belly. They will not give up on the idea of being with you. The infinity symbol says that they think that you are the only one for them, Scorpio. In the past, they were very childish. They were very naive about the ways of the world and the way love works. This is uh, when pigs fly, but it is very loving energy. It's just very immature. 
the best that can be achieved. Ooh, they see you as their future. They see you as the ship that has arrived in the harbor. You are definitely the only one for them. That's what they want. They see you as a potential marriage partner. They want a very strong commitment with you. They also want you to share their belief system, whether it be religious or politics or whatever way they view the world. They do feel as though you are strongly bonded in that way, but they would like marriage with you. The Six of Swords says that your person's had to do some healing work with the breakup. Speaks to trying to become enlightened. They see you as a person who's very grounded, who has their heart locked in a cage, that you're going to make a head over heart decision. They're very nervous about that, but they want to come forward with a great deal of passion, with a lot of enthusiasm, with a lot of gusto. Will they return? Absolutely yes. They will do the work. This person's very confident. They know they have a lot to bring to the table and they will fight for you and they will ask you to return to them formally or informally. They're definitely coming back. So that is your reading, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by. Like, subscribe, share, and comment if you would be so kind. Sagittarius, will your ex return? Let's take a look and see if your ex will return. We're going to shuffle three times for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check out all your signs. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I do answer comments. My name is Donna, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. All right. Ooh, the Sag <laughs> Sagittarius, there you are in your own reading. Here you are, look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. Your person is feeling very lucky to have known you. They feel as though they want to start a new cycle with you that would be very successful. Your person may from a, be from a different uh, country, ethnicity, or culture. Your person loves you very much. Look at this Scorpio King here. There's a person who are, is very, very comfortable in their own skin, Sagittarius. Your person loves you, the King of Cups. The Hierophant card, that is a traditional relationship card, typically a marriage card with similar souls, all right. Sagittarius, your person feels as though maybe you've moved on without them, that you may not want to speak to them. It is a card of healing. They want to, they definitely want you back. Sagittarius, here you are in your own reading again. Your person really feels as though your relationship is protected by the angels. This is a card of reconciliation, so they will make a formal offer to reconcile with you. The Ace of Cups, oh, they want a new beginning in love with you, Sagittarius. Look at that. They see you as the person that they want to live with throughout the eternity. We have the, and some, the symbol of infinity here tattooed on their arm. Very fiery, very passionate. They feel as though you're the only one for them. Their greatest hope or their darkest fear? Well, they want to fight for the relationship. Their fear is, is that you have a lot of suitors and that you may not be interested. You just may turn your back on them or not talk to them. The seven of coins, they are definitely coming back with an offer. They're going to try to really convince you to give them another chance. They definitely want to work on this and they will definitely show up at your door, literally or figuratively, but it does look like they will be courteous enough to call first or to text. So I do see a return for you there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Capricorn, will your ex return? Let's find out with a 10 card Celtic spread. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for our Capricorn friends. Welcome to the channel. Um, glad you stopped by. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tara. Welcome back to all my subscribers. One more shuffle for Capricorn. And we have a 10 card Celtic here. Let's see what we have. Your person is really all up in their head, feeling very constricted, feeling as though they really don't have the right to approach you, feeling as though truth be told that they really were not very good with you. Let's see what is crossing their energy. Oh, they so miss you. They feel as though you are their soulmate. Your person feels as though they may never get you back, but they definitely have the desire to grow old with you. 
the Eight of Wands. Absolutely, they have fire in their belly. They want that fire to be in the bedroom with you. They want to travel with you. They want to communicate with you. They feel so happy when they are with you that they definitely want to return. The Ten of Coins energy, strong energy. It is marriage energy, this is soulmate energy. Your person looks as though you may have been married to this person or had a committed relationship. They would definitely like to return to that energy of creating legacy with you. The Justice card can indicate legal paperwork. It can be a marriage license. It can indicate that you, know, you possibly went through some sort of separation that involved paperwork like being separated maritally or maybe you owned property together but they definitely want a full-time committed relationship with you in the near future the 1111 card twin flame card keeps coming up today we see that they want to be with you that there's no doubt about it again marriage license two marriage cards and the card of soulmates interesting energy they want to come in and talk to you. They are rushing towards your motorcycle to hold on, to, to rush towards you and to open their, their plans and whatever they can think of to tell you. They want to convince you that they are worthy of your attention, that they have become uh, very much King of Pentacles energy, that they will be passionately committed, that they again want to grow old with you. The dogs represent loyalty, so your person definitely wants you Capricorn. We see that they feel as though you may not take them back. That is a fork in the road and they just don't know the answer to the question of their fear. And we see the answer is big yes. They will fight for you. They will go over the top to win you back. They will do so with great force, enthusiasm, and dedication. And so that's what I have for your Capricorn. Aquarius, will your ex return? Let's find out. Let's shuffle three times. For our beautiful Aquarius friends, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm glad you stopped by. My name is Donna, and this is Irish Donna Tarot for a series of speed readings. Will my ex return? This will be, oops, <laughs> this will be a 10 card Celtic clarified only as needed. All right, so will your ex return? 10 of Wands. Having moved on, having moved forward, packed up their baggage. They carried a lot of baggage with them into the relationship, and now they've carried a lot of baggage out. Aquarius. They see you as a person who is highly desirable, single, and ready to mingle everything they could possibly want in a relationship partner. The devil energy says that your person was toxic. It looks as though they tended to be very controlling, somewhat manipulative. It looks like they could have been very good looking, a uh, very desirable person, but very much obsessed with you also and obsessed with doing things their way. The Six of Swords says that you left a while ago. It looks as though that Aquarius is your energy. It looks as though you left them and you left alone. You may have lived together. It looks like you both literally moved. The energy at the crowning point, the best that could be achieved for your person, if they got to have you back, they would be dancing for joy, leaping into the air, eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow. Well, it's a line in a Shakespeare play. They see you as somebody who's totally released them, that you are over them. We have this card of ending, we have this card of ending. This is the water taxi, you know, but they want you back. They, they do feel very much that you're their happiness. They feel as though they're facing their karma right now, that you've released them. They simply might not have an option. They feel very fearful, Aquarius. They have their head in their shoulders. There probably is a way to win you back. However, they can't see the forest for the trees, the key for the door, the lock. They just can't see their way to do it. The situation is the death card. They just don't think that you would take them back. They feel as though they would have to rebirth or rebuild the relationship if they were so lucky to do so. The Nine of Swords says that they have remorse and regret. They have uh, sleepless nights without you. The King of Pentacles, though, is a yes answer. It is an answer that says that your person really is going to be courageous enough and gutsy enough to come forward with an offer of loyalty, you know, the offer to grow old together, a very passionate plea, 
So it will be up to you, Aquarius, whether you decide that they are your happy place. So I do think the core issue here is controlling toxic behavior. So it does look as though if that were released, that you could rebirth the relationship, but it'll be up to you. Pisces, will your ex return? Let's take a look with the 10 card Celtic spread. Three shuffles for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's a general reading. Please take it as it resonates. If you like this, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. My name is Donna, Irish Donna Tarot. Welcome to all new viewers. I hope you're enjoying this presentation. Let's see what we have for Will Your Ex Return, Pisces. Well, the Judgment card. You may simply not want them back. That is a card of karma. They see you as very detached, possibly very uninterested in them. Uh, but you're their happy place, Pisces. The Sun card, the happiest card in the deck. Your person wants you back but feels as though they created karma. In the recent past, they had fire in their belly for you. They definitely would like to make an approach. They'll never stop loving you forever. The infinity symbol is tattooed on their forearm. The Six of Swords says that you've moved away from them. Again, a release of energy here. In the near future, there we go. There's the number one reconciliation card, the temperance card. They definitely feel that they have a guardian angel that may help them make a plea uh, with you to return. They feel like a lightweight in love. There may be an age difference. Your person feels like they're not very mature, that they're not really in a leadership role, that you would be much more likely to be the leader with the energy that I see here. When pigs fly is how they feel that you may or may not take them back. It is Pisces energy. Interestingly enough, the Honey I'm Home card, ooh, that is the emperor driving the chariot. Your person feels as though you are the leader, but they, are, they want you badly enough to try to make an approach. Their biggest fear or their greatest happiness is that you would passionately say yes. Will they approach? Ah, oh, boom, boom, boom. I feel as though they just don't even think. They may be blocked. You may have blocked them. They don't see any way to reach you. So the answer right now is that for the next two months, that is a big no answer. Will they look for opportunities in the future? Yes, they will. But for many of you, this is dead, dead, gone, and over, and you've closed them out. Um, so do they want you back? Yes. Will they approach and ask for you to take them back? It looks like they don't have that option. Again, I think you might have blocked them. So that is the reading for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I really appreciate your time and your consideration, and I do answer all comments. Thank you so much.